welcome to my channel. Well, I borrowed the uh, Not So Lazy Susan from Dino Net. Figure they owe me for all the ruckus they cause here. Um, but anyways, I, I started thinking about this, and I'm, I'm using just Rough Riders and marbles for this. But if you think about it, a lot of times when I'm buying these, I'm buying them. It's it's like you like the way it looks, you know. Because, for example, this bolster stripe one. I don't think it's got a name on it. Just Rough Rider with an eye. And this cub are the same knife. I mean, they're they're cutting edge is the same I mean they, they look different but they're the same knife so why would you buy more than one of the same knife if you if you like you know this knife why would you buy more than one well there's lots of reasons you know but a lot of times it's because you like uh, the series you like the pattern but you also like the series at least in Rough Rider this is the way I would go now, sometimes it can throw you off on the series. And like the Stoneworks one, for example. I mean, this is before they, they even changed it to the green malachite. But you can see, this is Stoneworks, this is Stoneworks, that's Stoneworks. You see how they're all kind of like following the same pattern? You know, abalone, blue, white, red. Then I thought it was abalone, blue, red, yellow. Who, who dropped in yellow? You know, and now they're dropping in green. But they're calling it stonework. And there's some that don't even have that. It's just all green. I mean, I've got one, you know, in the doctor's knife collection. It's just white and green, you know. Maybe with some mother of pearl in there. But, I mean, um, so a lot of this is, it's just the same way with toothpick knives. Now, there there is an exception. There, there is an exception in, in rough rows. There's always an exception to something. And, uh... That is these these old Southwest because it's not just see it's almost it it almost looks like a stoneworks see how it's got the the same kind of like this you could imagine this was be abalone and uh, you can see kind of a similar coloring however these metal inserts in here and this increases the weight now for something as small as a toothpick man. That really, that really makes it feel more substantial in your hand. That's one time when, you know, the blade isn't any thicker or anything like that. Um, but as you get up to larger sizes, it's still good, but the weight increases. So a lot of people are going to poo-poo it. Now I'm going to try to get the bigger one, you know, the Hawkbill, you know, which would be pretty huge. But, uh, uh oh, something got knocked over. Pterodactyl came down there. So, what you get for trying to zoom in on it? I it just caught him out of the corner of my eye. Uh, yeah, that's that's just something I just wanted to use as an example of you know the difference of them. No, we didn't need to do that. We don't want to do that either. Here we go. Um, yeah, you start you start liking a pattern. You say, okay, I like I like a I think this is called copper copper bolster or something. You know, um, I like the pattern. You know, it's it's got the copper with it, and then it's got the dark bone. You know, let me get more than one of those. You know, and it's the same way. You know, I like I like this. You know, because it looks like a coral snake. You know, so I mean, it's got the patterns of a coral snake. It's something unique. It's something you don't see, and and they do it not just with that, but you know, with like a G10, you know, and this, and then they they throw in different things. Like, all right, we're not only going to bring out this, but we're gonna, you know, this would nor you would think would normally be just a barlow, you know, the way the shape is. Okay, right, they're not gonna they're not gonna add 
They're not going to make a flipper to it. They're just going to put a little nail in it here and say, look, here, a tiny Barlow. And everybody goes, ugh. But when you put a flipper to it, wow, that's just something different, you know. And then um, if you start getting into, you know, ram horn, not just like ram horn bone, which is good also, but actual ram horn, you know. So you, it's still, uh, I think this one's a large toothpick, is it? Yeah, this is a, a large toothpick. It's still a large toothpick. Sometimes they change them up a little bit. They may not have a swedge up there. I don't think this one does. Yeah, it does. does it? I have to look real closely. There's a minor. There's some minor swedging. There's some minor swedging going on. But yeah, that's that's basically it. And then it's just like this. Now for me on this one, I don't only like the saw cut pattern, which is basically what they're using on. Uh, it's basically this step here, which is similar to what you've seen on case, some case knives. They use that saw cut bone. Um, it looks good. It feels good. So you'll you'll want to collect more than one. And this is another example of uh, you can't always say, oh well, you're you're just collecting just different uh, covers. Basically, it's the same knife but different covers. Not always with Rough Riders. Sometimes they'll throw a curve in there. You know, you're expecting a sheath sweat to come out and you get this, which is different. You know, that that's different. It, it mixes it up for you. It gives you an incentive, you know. Oh, look, a little worn cleft here, you know. You were expecting something else, like a pen blade. <clears throat> so that's all I'm saying is they, uh, they get you, you know, because... If you got if you got one, how many fifth pockets? Five. How many fifth pockets do you have that you need? You know, you could have one for a different. It's it's not all about like. You're if you're watching this, you're probably not of the of the group that says, um, I just have one knife and that's all I need. I, every everything I do is with with one knife, and if it breaks, I don't care what it is. I'll go down to the gas station or walmart or wherever and i'll get the cheapest knife i can find and i'll use it till it breaks okay you know you use knives but you're not really i would say into knives you know which is hey i'm I, i'm not using that as a rating level to say you're a lower level or whatever it's just on the knife on the knife thrill scale or whatever or interest scale knives to you are like a kitchen cutlery you know all you care about is that a fork or is that a spoon or is that a butter knife is that a butter knife or is that a steak knife you know you don't care what steel it is you don't care where it's serrated or not you don't care what angle it was cut at or anything it's just a you know function the tool what the hell somehow turn that off uh and to me yeah knives are tools too but when you start getting to where you enjoy knives and you enjoy different patterns. You can look at this and say, all right, yeah, this is a part of the stoneworks and everything. Yeah, it's a little small um, Barlow, but it's got a lock back on it. That's different, you know? So it breaks up some kind of, some of the boredom you may get if, you, uh, if you're collecting them. But yeah, that's how they hook us, I think. It's just like the shiny things. You look at something and you go, Ooh, wow, that's different. Wow, that's cool. I want them all. You know, I mean, for some of it, that's all it takes. You know, you're like, wow, I got this one just to see if I like the pattern. Yeah, I like the pattern. I want them all. Uh, why? I don't know. Cause I like them, and they and they were made in a in a series, aren't they? All supposed to be together. Well, yeah, I think that's kind of where they hook you, because you'll get if you don't like lady legs. Then you'll wind up getting a lady leg just because you want to complete the pattern. If you're that type of collector, if you're you know if you're not, then you won't understand me. But if if you are, you'll understand where I'm coming from on this one. This is one of those where you get what I'm where I'm coming from, or you don't. And if you don't, I'm, maybe I'm going to try to explain some of what goes on in my head, you know, as part of a a person that does this 
is, like I said before, for me, if I get one, let's, let's use, uh, let's use this guy. One stoneworks or something. Let's say I get this, this knife. This is the neck knife. I got the sheep hiding around here somewhere. I moved out of the way because it was interfering with everything else on the rotisserie or whatever we got going on here. But, uh, I looked at it and I went, you know what? For an inexpensive knife, this is pretty well made, you know, and functional. Because for a neck knife, you're either going to want a neck knife that's huge and you're going to have, you're just going to have to put up with this stuff, you know, you're going to deal with uh, the thing plopping around, or you're going to want a smaller one that still gives you a knife that's going to have all the functions of a neck knife, but it's going to be, you know, you're going to put up with smaller. Um, again, they make a bunch of these in a bunch of different series, you know. Same pattern, different series. Sometimes when I'm talking about this stuff, I'll interchange, you know. I'll say this is a series. But I'm, what I mean, what I'm talking about is when you're trying to make them all like this, this is a series. And when it's this shape, this is the pattern, all right. This basically on traditional lines. Sometimes you'll call it wrong, you know, like somebody will say, that's not really, that's not technical, that's a teardrop, equal end, double-sided, you know, jumbo jack. All right, all right, you know. Uh, you know, um, but as far as that goes, you know, that's that's how you wind up getting more than one, one knife, you know, of... Of one side because all of those are basically canoes you know if you like the canoe pattern i've got more than one for each yeah i couldn't say well i just wanted one for one each day of the week you know that's all i really wanted I no i just started you know going canoe crazy and they're all basically some have frosted you know some don't have half stops and everything but they're all basically the canoe pattern with different covers and different shields. See, this is their this is their first attempt at fake abalone. Now I've got another one coming in. That uh, that that I made up that stuff about abalonite, but I, apparently Rough Riders got uh, some new stuff. It looks pretty good. It looks just like it. In some cases, I think it looks better than abalone. When I get it in, I'll compare it to the. I've got a couple of queen. In abalone, crushed ice, uh, cracked ice with, I had one with a cracked pen too. But see here, this one here is uh, when I realized that, hey, they're all basically saying, why don't you just get a, a, a some canoes and white bone and get yourself a bunch of different dye and make whatever color you want. And that turned out a lot better than I than I expected on that one. I really I really like the, the way that one turned out. But you can get them in GT and inexpensive. You know they they basically come in any hand material you want. Or I think this is actually stag. This is that moon that moon one that came with the little tin and everything. So you know there's just some examples of of uh you've got you've got more than one. Same way with like um. Copperheads, Stockmans, I mean, you put, just name your pattern, Barlow's, you know, you start collecting acrylics, it, it can, you can get it for multiple reasons, you can say, alright, yeah, I'm collecting Barlow's, or oh, oh, I like this, or oh, oh, I like games, or, you know, for me, getting a knife, there's, it doesn't take much justification, you know, a reason to get it. You know, if, it, if I get a knife, then it's going to fit something. Oh, well, that's an old timer. That belongs. And see, this is a problem when you get two when you're collecting stuff because you might wind up where you're, if you're trying to, if, like especially if somebody does an open tag, show me your, all your barrels, show me your favorite barrels or whatever. Well, this barlow may be hiding in the old timer box where all the other old timers are hanging out, you know. Um, but... It's actually a Barlow. So should it be hanging out with the Barlows or old timers? In this case, I threw it with the Barlows for, for some reason. But if, if I were to do 
Let me show you all my old timers. You know, uh, this one would be missing because I'd forget about it. Oh, so, yeah, organization. Some people are better organized. Some people keep meticulous uh, records of what they buy and what they get and everything. Oh, there's a hair trapped on there. No, it is it's on the inside. There's a hair in there. There's a hair in there. Well, that's what happens when you get uh, magnetic. I mean, electrostatic type boxes. But this is like bone stag. This is a little, uh, the little Warncliffe. When I first saw these and everything, I thought, ooh, ooh, Warncliffe, you know. But I mean, in this case, this Warncliffe is just like, it's a perfect shape, but man, it just needs more depth to it. It really does. They could have, they could have made this thing a little chunkier, or something, you know. But yeah, this was kind of a Warncliffe disappointment. You still get the benefits of a Warncliffe, but yeah, I just. Yeah, but I like this um this particular series, Bone Stag. That was a really good series. I don't have all of them, you know. And then just the way they do stuff like Tobacco Bone. I really this is a good example. The Pipe Doctor, the original, the one. I've got another one. It's not the one, the only, because I got the the one in the uh, the Wasp series, which is VG10. See, they change it up for you sometimes too. If they know, all right, we're going to get all the, we're gonna, this is going to appeal to all the people that like Doctor's Knife, which is probably not a whole lot. And then uh, we're going to get, everybody likes tobacco. Oh, and then we're going to get all the smokers out there, you know. So it's going to hit, if you're collecting, it's going to appeal to you in, on some particular level, you know. And then, like I said, they don't just do it just for, gimmicky knockoffs just to make stuff i wish they would do more of this uh saw cut bone man this is done really well i just love the the way it looks and feels i'm mean, you're used to seeing it or i'm used to seeing it on wood more than anything else and then even when they go on smooth bone so you know some of these you might collect them just for the shield in this case you might say oh i like that shield you know i want to get it and they come out with a series and they'd make them and then they would stop making them, and you couldn't find them, you know, unless you... In this case, the same thing would happen with these, except instead of on eBay... I mean, on yeah, it's instead of, like, GEC on the secondary market, basically double and triple the price. If you're starting out with a low price, and you double and triple it, you're not going to notice it much, but as much. But basically, the same thing would happen. You know, people would say, ooh, I like those. And instead of buying one... They make a little small time hustle investment. You know, they say, all right, I'm going to buy 10 of them. And one of them I'm going to keep. But the other nine I'm going to sell and make a profit. And sure enough, all they got to do is double or triple the price. Wait until it's no longer available in, you know, the the regular, de you know, dealer's shelves and everything. And then start selling them on eBay at double and triple the price. Or put them up for a bid. Sky's the limit. Becomes really popular and it's got something like a 10 and everything. Who people may go crazy and then they do series, you know, like I said, the glow, the glow series. I don't have all of them here, I'm just giving you examples, you know, I'm just showing you because I broke out all of my I was breaking a damn near all of my rough riders for this. I thought, damn, man, this is gonna be a long video if you start show even with the rotisserie thing on high speed. And people speeding it up, it's gonna it it would be a while to work through what you want to say. In this, but what I'm saying is they just do uh, <laughs> uh, unique things. You know, like this is supposed to be the Christmas colors, but it's it's a moose, it's a moose, but it's one of their Merry Christmas. Or if that offends you, we have we have a rough rider. Ooh, sometimes the other ones they would say Happy Holidays. I got this one because it said 2020 on it. Anyway, because we lived through 2020. I assume all of you that are witnessing this video right now are still alive. Um, I wasn't here when. See, if these series come out, if they start coming out with the series and, and you start getting them. 
that's usually the best time with rough riders to pick them out if you like one of them pick them all up as soon as they start becoming available that's what i'm doing with this right here i've got two more knives coming in that that represent this series right here because i like them i like that bolster lock and i like and i like the red saw cut bone and so if i get them now it's easier to get them because they're releasing them slowly they're not hitting you with you know like 18 different patterns you know that you got to collect all at once you know and i don't know about you but i can't afford you know that many but yeah you'll just run into different things that you like you know like oh i like that i like that shield or oh i, I like marlin spikes or oh i like giant sheep's foot or i like that lever like clevis there look at how that works yeah um it they get you they get you with whatever now here again is another one where i just took a a basic hawk bill that was in white bone and i dyed it and now it's, it's different it's a different knife uh-oh danny dino creeped out i was going to try to keep him out the whole Entire video is going to try not to have a single country and western kind of phrase going on in here. But yeah, that's that's it. You know, that's why I um, when I was first starting to think about collecting more than one of one particular uh, pattern or whatever. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm digging around back here. They do some unique things too you know like uh the black widows ones you know so that'll make you get all of the uh, something fell down did you hear that i think something fell down i know the downstairs person heard that we look free hair again get out of there what are you trying to do all right um tortoise shell same way you know you like a particular pattern this one I think it's pretty cool is uh what i was gonna do is just i was gonna have uh like this the high planes or something i was gonna put this one out and have all the ones that i've got because i've got more than one i've got a granddaddy bar all, all that other one but I, i'm just figured now nah, i can just use examples and the same way with reserve i'm glad they're getting away from my car but they started mixing up a little bit and doing denim my car instead of the same old regular you know color my car and this, even though they're, you know, highly crack susceptible, I like the way they did the saw cut bone. And Queen, yeah, not really technically Rough Rider, but really it is, I think. You know, I don't, I don't know if they're made in separate factories, but I, I bet they're made. I don't know. I know they're the same house brand. They were taken over by Smokey, so it's it's all how they want to run that stuff over in China. I got no idea. I'd just be guessing. I'd just be guessing. But yeah, they come out with a, a bunch of different designs. Like I said, they do a pretty good job of saw cut bone. I think the ones that do better in uh, in bone and stuff like that is, is Case. You know, they just do a better... Uh, rendition of it but they don't have as many varieties of all the different kind of knives it's got a little pliers and a little pliers that's if you want to be a junior radio repair man all right I'll run out of time here folks so I'm just gonna blaze through a few more again there's that saw cut bone this time it's in in blue and we're just gonna call it something different but it's, it's basically the same same material just different dye same um this is a stockman same stockman as as most all the other stockmans they get in there you know uh just a different way of doing it so yeah i don't know what uh, other than stating the obvious but that's what happens with me i'm trying to explain is there a method to my madness not really not really it's more kind of like ooh, that's shiny ooh, that's pretty or ooh, i like that ooh, that's cool this one glows you know, or, or or if I can't get enough of it. I don't have the... This is a buckshot bone, but I basically covered it up with my own little glow-in-the-dark stuff. You know, and ooh, ooh, look, it glows. <laughs> oh, look at that. Glow for us. Come on, glow. It's not going to show up as good. 
But yeah, um, yeah. Like I said, other than stating the obvious, there there are some examples of uh, how you can become hooked into collecting a series or a pattern. Let's let's give them some motion here. Not too fast. You're gonna get people motion sickness. There we go. So yeah, you might like a handle material. You might say, "Ooh, I like, I like um, horn or bone or whatever." And they come out with a series. Well, a lot of times they won't come out with a particular knife that you like. Some people only collect patterns, you know, large toothpicks, for example. And if they don't come out with that pattern, even though you like that handle. Yeah, you you run into that big situation of should I should I get them even though I like that material they're not giving they're not producing it in my handle you know, I mean in my pattern they're not producing in the pattern that I like. And Rough Rider, yeah, usually you're just gonna like all right I'm just gonna pick another pattern, you know because. Uh, for the longest time, like I said, I was into doctor's knives and they. They would produce everything else, you know, of course, Trapper. If you're into Trappers, man, they got you covered. They'll produce they'll produce things like, uh, I think it's the Tortuga Trapper. I haven't seen that in any other pattern, uh, you know, offered. Just Trapper, you know. So, I mean, come on. That's what happens sometimes. You're, or you like Canoe. You say, all right, you know, they're producing everything else. They've come out with Stockman. They come out with Trapper. You know, and the, even though they'll throw in something odd, like a hawkbill or something, you know, and you'll say, surely they're going to come out with, you know, what I want. And they're going to say, no, they're not going to come out with what you want. And stop calling me Shirley. <clears throat> but here, like this, the synthetic malachite one. Now, this one, when it was sold at Blade Metrics, was cheap, uh, inexpensive, I mean, because uh, they, they, they said it may be come with uh, cracks, you know, on the stuff. Well, this is before Cracky came and everything, but this one's got a crack in it somewhere. I can't really see it real close right now, but it's got a crack in it somewhere, but I like that. I don't care that it's synthetic. It looks good. So there you go. I mean, I've taken forever for basically stating the obvious, you know, that if you like, if you like a particular series then uh then get get it you know if you like a particular uh one then get one out of it you're like i'm only gonna get folding hunters all right then good you've narrowed it down because otherwise it in collecting it's a matter of you know how much funds do you have and uh how bad do you want to complete this puzzle it's like a puzzle you know you see you can see the picture that you want to complete. They show it to you on the box. Uh, here's a picture of uh, the complete collection. You know? And you go, all right, cool. And you're, and you're going, chinka, 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 chinka. And by the time you get over here, you know, to complete the collection, uh, they're out of stock in that particular dealer. And then, uh-oh, you know, the hunt goes on. You have to have, like, more than one source. And then, you know, you wind up to eventually to where... It's only available on secondary market. And how badly do you want to complete that picture? You know, you already know what the complete picture looks like. You've already got an example of another canoe in another, you know, series. So it's really how badly do you want to complete that exact picture? And that's kind of the OCD obsession collection, you know, part. And finances. Finance has a lot to do with it. You know, your funds. You'll sit there and you're like, wow, you know, there's a lot of these. <laughs> All right, so I've talked like 30 minutes, and it's a good thing I didn't break out any more knives because I have, you know, like I said, I got a bunch of them back here in boxes uh, sitting around uh, because, yeah, it, the shininess, the prettiness of it, or the uniqueness, you know, you'll say, like, ooh, ooh, I like this, you know, because. For once, they finally made it look dark, you know, on one end instead of just like black spray paint, you know, and then you, it, it rubs off or something. But this one didn't do it. This is the actual 
cinnamon stag Damascus one. You know, the polished Damascus. Again, they'll get you on different stuff. You know, it's you've got enough peanut, I'm a toothpicks, you know, to last you a lifetime, maybe a couple of lifetimes, but uh, I'll buy more, you know, if, if they come out with some particular thing, or in this case, all they would have to do is say, all right, now we're going to produce all these in 440C. It's exact same pattern, but in 440C. Oh, I don't know. You know, if I already got, already got this, which I mostly just look at most of the time, uh, does it really matter what blade steel is in there? Uh, it depends on how much they want for it, you know. And again, it depends on how, if they mix it up, if they don't exactly reproduce this, you know, like they threw in a different color. <laughs> or they put, you know, genuine badger hair on it, you know. Then it might get to the point where you say, I gotta have that. You know, they got me with the badger hair. I, I would have, uh, I don't have a canoe with badger hair. So, there you go. Sorry I had to get a little crazy there in the last, but I uh, just wanted to give you a little talk, a little discussion, and uh, about collecting series and, and patterns and everything. I try to narrow it down to say, like, all right, no matter what pattern I mean, no matter what series they come up with, I'm only going to get certain patterns out of it, you know? I'm only going to get it if, I, if they got this or that. And sometimes even if it's, you know, if it looks good, I'll say, man, in my mind I go, how many toothpicks do you got, man? You got enough. I rotate them. You know, I set them up there by me because I use so much. I rotate them a lot of times. And I found this is one of the ones I like the most because it's, it's heavy. You know, so this is one case where the weight works out. And I like the, the design. So I'll probably wind up getting the whole series. You know, they got me hooked on that one. Um, and that's that's the way it goes on this. Sorry, there's no definitive answer. Like I said, it's kind of like, let's delve into the mind of an obsessed collector. I don't know, I'd say I'm totally obsessed obsessed you know i mean i i can pass stuff up i have i have not bought knives you know for 24 hours at a stretch sometimes i know it's difficult i'm not joking i really have gone 24 hours without you know buying a knife i've cut down on uh knife purchases recently because really i it's my electricity bill like here in texas let's throw this here in the last here in Texas, uh, I was on a two-year plan at 11, it was about 11 cents a kilowatt hour. And I thought that was kind of high because at the time I got it, it was going like 9 cents a kilowatt hour. Well, I just came up for renewal. <laughs> Surprise! Uh, they didn't give me a bunch of different plans to choose from. They said, look, you're basically your same plan for the next two years, 17.5 cents a kilowatt hour. All right, so my last electricity bill was like $100. You could basically just double that. And looking at the money I've got, man, I can't afford. And this was through the heat of the, you know, through the heat of the summer when it was like life-threatening 100-degree temperatures. And I had my thermostat set high, like 82 degrees, 83. They would recommend you set it at like 79 or 80 to help conserve the grid or something like that. I had it at 82, I was using a ceiling fan, and 83, and I still had an electrical bill, you know, electricity bill of $100. So, start next month, man, in the wintertime. <sighs> now, I can survive a lot better in the wintertime. I can, keep, I can keep warm easier than I can keep cool. It costs me a lot more energy to keep cool than to keep warm. So, there you go. I just want to throw that into there to you, yeah. Um... Your expenses might cut down on everything so that where instead of buying a bunch of different one of these, you can only buy one. You'll say, all right, eventually I'll, I'll get this puzzle piece figured out and finished, but it's going to take a while, and I'll just buy one piece, you know, $10, and bam, you know, instead of 50 or or $100 that you may throw at it, so... There you go. Sorry for talking so long.
Thank you for watching and have a nice day.